Alright folks, how's it going? Welcome to my top 20 PS3 games as of July 2015. Uh, I thought it was about time I did another one of these top 20 uh, videos. I've not done a top 20 PS3 games uh, since February last year, so it's been quite a while, almost a year and a half. Uh, so I thought it was about time I, I did another one, because it's going to be totally different to the last one, because I've played a lot more games since then. Um, so it's got to be totally different. There's a few things I want to clarify uh, before I get this started. And uh, one is, I'm only picking one game uh, per series, so I'm not putting all Uncharted games in, or all uh, Resistance games, or all Resident Evil games. I can only pick one game per series. Also, no sports games. There's going to be racing games, probably. Uh, I'm saying probably, but I've picked the list, I know what's coming. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be racing games, because uh, I don't really classify them as really sport games. I think racing is basically a, a genre uh, of its own, really, so there's that. Uh, most of these as well, the majority of them are going to be uh, multi-platform games, so it's not just PS3 exclusives. Uh, also, these are in no particular order. I do have, I do roughly uh, have a favourite, which I'll probably mention at the end, but uh, they're apart from that, they're in no particular order. Just my top 20. Uh, so yeah, let's get started, shall we? First game is Resistance Free, which I think is a fantastic game. I, I really do like the Resistance series, but in my opinion, the third one, in my opinion, is just the best, in my opinion. It is an absolute fantastic game. Looks beautiful. Gameplay is really, really enjoyable. And uh, for that, it's got to be my top 20. Absolute fantastic game. If you've got a PS3, you sh really should get Resistance Free. If you like first-person shooters, and also like shooting aliens and stuff. It's a really bloody good game. Next, in our PS3 exclusive, is God of War 3. Now, I've not actually played any other God of War games, so I just jumped straight into the third game. And uh, I've got to say, guys, I was blown away. It's probably one of my favourite hack and slash games. I would say it's better than Devil May Cry 4, definitely. And I would say it's definitely better than Bayonetta as well. Definitely the best, uh, definitely the best hack and slash on the PS3 anyway. Uh, so yeah, God of War 3, brilliant looking game. Really gory as well, but um, yeah, I love it. Next game we have is Sonic Generations. Which I've got to say, guys, it is an absolutely fantastic game. I would say this is as close as you're going to get to the classic Sonics as far as enjoyment goes. It's got a great mixture of uh, classic Sonic and obviously your modern day Sonic as well. And the way they've done modern Sonic in this, it is just so bloody enjoyable. Uh, really, really good mixture, guys. And if you love platformers or you love Sonic and you've not played this, guys, I highly recommend it. The only thing I don't like about it is it's really short, maybe four or five hours long. So it is really short, but really bloody enjoyable, guys. I mean, if you compare this to Sonic uh, Sonic Unleashed, oh my god, it is so much better, you know. So, yeah, Sonic Generations, guys, bloody fantastic game. Next, we have a game that I'm sure is going to be very controversial. But we have uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I, have to, I had to put a Call of Duty game in, because I do really enjoy the single-player campaigns. And to be honest, guys, it's, it was either going to be Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, or this game. I've chose this game. I don't know why, but I absolutely love the campaign on this. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm choosing it. I'm not really going to say much else about it, guys. But, yeah, I've got to put it in my top 20, because I did absolutely, in, uh, absolutely love uh, the campaign. So, yeah, very controversial. I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't put this in their top 20, but I've got to put it in, because it was really enjoyable. Next, I've got to put a fighting uh, a fighting game in there, and uh, in my opinion, this is uh, probably the fighting game that I enjoyed the most uh, since I've had the PS3, and it is Soul Calibur 5. I do always say Soul Calibur is my you know favorite fighting game series. I do like Tekken as well, uh, but for that, you know, in my opinion, Soul Calibur just edges it for me. And Soul Calibur 5, in my opinion, was really, really addictive when I first got it. Uh, I did really enjoy So Called Before as well, but I've just chose this over the fact that uh, basically the character creation, in my opinion, in this game is a lot better. And one of the main things about So Called series, in my opinion, is actually the character customization. Because I really, really enjoy, you know, creating characters and that. And uh, yeah, the cause character uh, character creation is, is a lot better. And yeah, I just love the game, guys. I just think the game's really, really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, fantastic fighting game. So yeah, So Called Before 5. Next is Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. 
the same thing with this, um, it's the same thing basically with God of War. I've never played a Ratchet & Clank game before, this is the first game I've played. And uh, I just think it's a fantastic game, guys. It looks absolutely, you know, it looks beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. It looks like a, you know, a Disney Pixar film basically come to life, you know. And basically you're controlling a woman Disney Pixar film. It just looks absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely fantastic platform game. And uh, yeah, I've got to put it in my top 20 because I just thought it was brilliant. Completed it twice in the space of a month or something. So yeah, Ratchet and Clank 2 is destruction. Next game is a racing game, and it's probably my favourite racing game series like ever. It is a Need for Speed Undercover. Again, I wouldn't say this is going to be a popular choice either. Uh, I, I was actually going to pick, it was either going to be this or Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. The only thing I didn't like about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is you couldn't actually customise your car. So it felt more like, you know, burnout or something. But uh, yeah, Need for Speed Undercover, in my opinion, is just a fantastic game. Again, it didn't get you know great reviews, and sometimes the game actually freezes as well uh, as it tries to load up the next bit of the you know bit of a track, basically bit of a city. But uh, yeah, I just think the game's really really enjoyable. The first racing game I believe that I got on uh, PS3, and uh, yeah, personally, it's my favourite. So yeah, Need for Speed Undercover. Next we have Dead Space, the very first Dead Space. Not played any of the other Dead Space games, but I get obviously I got this because I was a big horror fan. Did love my you know horror and scary games, and this game was just full of jump scares, and I thought it was brilliant, guys. Um, it was a really, really creepy atmosphere, and uh, again, gameplay in my opinion was just really, really enjoyable. So yeah, I've got to put Dead Space in the list, and I'm looking forward to getting Dead Space 2 at some point. Not so much the third game because I think they've ruined it, but definitely the second game. Next, I've got to say Bioshock 2. When you buy a shot game I've played and it is bloody amazing. I love the water effects guys. The water effects are absolutely fantastic and the gameplay and the graphics just look amazing guys and just the game is really really enjoyable, you know. So um yeah, I've definitely got to put Bioshock in the list. Absolutely beautiful game. And uh, I recommend that as well. Next game we have this is actually, actually surprising, I didn't actually think this would be my top 20, but it's just mine to sneak in there, and it's Dead Island. I think this is another one of those games that you either love it or you hate it. Uh, for me, I loved it, I thought it was a really, really good game, an open world, uh, you know, basically zombie survival kind of game. It's actually really, really good, I really enjoyed it guys, so for that I've just got to put it on the list. A lot of people find it difficult, I did find it difficult at some parts, but I would say the majority of the game was pretty, uh, you know, was pretty normal as far as difficulty, uh, as far as difficulty goes. Um, so yeah, Dead Island, in my opinion, just makes it on the top 20. Next game, just a masterpiece, guys. I'm sure anybody that's got basically played this game, they won't uh, disagree with this. It's Heavy Rain. Absolutely brilliant game, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Completed twice and the first couple of weeks I got it basically because I just couldn't wait to play again to get some different, you know, get a different ending. And the game in part has got so many different endings, like, I don't know, seven or eight different endings. So it's really, really good. got some uh, pretty good, you know, replayability. Uh, basically makes some different decisions as uh, as the game goes along. Uh, even though I, I would say this feel like more like an interactive movie, but it's still brilliant, guys. It is absolutely brilliant and it's a must uh, if you've got a PS3. Brilliant game, guys. Next game we have is Race Driver Garrett, which I thought was an absolutely fantastic racing game. A tons better than Gran Turismo 5, which isn't on this list by the way. Really not a fan of Gran Turismo 5, just gets boring so damn quickly. So I'm not a fan of Gran Turismo 5, but this game in my opinion was absolutely fantastic. This did what Gran Turismo should have done in my opinion. The, just the collisions and that, they so, look so bloody realistic. And the gameplay is just really fast and really bloody fun. Um, so yeah, definitely love this game, guys. Definitely love it. It's more like um, that Tucker Race Driver, which I loved. I loved the Tucker Race Driver game, so it feels like that. Um, but probably better, actually. So they did a fantastic job with Race Driver Grid. And I can't wait to get uh, Grid 2 at some point. So yeah, I recommend that for racing plans. Next we have... 
Uh, it's not really my kind of game, to be honest, but I really bloody loved this game. It was Dragon Age Origins. Uh, so yeah, Dragon Age Origins, guys. Um, I found this game really, really difficult. Um, just, this is the kind of game that I find really, really difficult. RPG, uh, action RPG, I suppose you could call it. Uh, adventure RPG, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, just found the menus and that really bloody confusing and that. But as the game went on, I started to get used to the way the game basically played and I got used to the menus and I understood the game more. Uh, the character dialogue and stuff, it's really bloody good in my opinion. Just absolutely love it. Uh, some fantastic characters, like I say, fantastic dialogue. Um, so yeah, Dragon Age Origins, guys. I struggled my way through it, but I loved it. Fantastic game, guys. I really, really enjoyed it. Next we have Killzone 2. Which I just thought was a really, really beautiful looking first person shooter. It looked really realistic and I thought it was really, really fun as well. Uh, actually, the only Killzone game I've played. So, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend Killzone 2 if you've got a, a PS3. I'm looking to get the third one at some point and I'm also thinking about getting Killzone Shadowfall on release on the PS4. That game looks fantastic and it's probably going to be the game I get on release. But, yeah, Killzone 2, guys. A really, really good game. Next game we have is Fallout 3. Now I remember getting Fallout 3 and expecting to you know, enjoy the game, but I didn't just enjoy it. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I played through it twice. Uh, it's just a big open world. There's just loads of things to discover. Uh, again, loads of character dialogue and that. You can basically choose uh, to be a good guy or you can be a total arse. You know? it's, it gives you that option, which I just love in games. Uh, it's fantastic. I think Dragon Age is the same actually. You can be a bit of an arse on that as well. Uh, but yeah, Fallout 3 guys, fantastic. And I'm looking forward to getting uh, Fallout New Vegas at some point as well. So uh, yeah, Fallout 3, brilliant game. Next game is from my favourite series. So I've got to add a game. It was either going to be the 5th or the 6th game. Because that's the only game I've played on the PS3. So do you know what series I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. It is, and I've chosen, Resident Evil 6. It was a close call. It was a close call, because I really did enjoy uh, Resident Evil 5 as well. The reason, the reasons, actually, why I've chose Resident Evil 6 is it's got four different campaigns. These can be, like, what, five, six hours long, something like that. Well, at least four, I would say. So that's, like, what, 18, 17, 18 hours, roughly, of gameplay. So it's a lot longer, and I just feel like the fact that it does feel more like a Resident Evil game. Uh, especially the Leon and the Helena um, scenario. It does feel more Resident Evil with zombies and that. And actually it has some you know, pretty damn scary and creepy moments. Creepy atmosphere and stuff. Um, so for that I'm going to give it to Resident Evil 6 over Resident Evil 5. But I really do like them both. But um, yeah, Resident Evil 6 I've chosen from my top 20. Next game I have here... Um, I'm sure Stars Gaming will disagree. It is Borderlands 2. It's probably one of those games, kind of like a, a love and hate game, but for me, guys, I just absolutely love Borderlands, the Borderlands series, but I've chose the second one due to the fact that it's better, like, it's got a better storyline, basically. Well, it's added a storyline. Borderlands 2 didn't, uh, Borderlands 1, sorry, didn't have much of a storyline, or the characters weren't really that good, but they really, um, in this game, they've had have a pretty humorous storyline at times. And just the characters are really, really likeable, guys. And for that, I just really, really like the game. It actually makes you want to do the side quests uh, just to find out more about the characters and that. So, yeah, Borderlands 2, guys. Just a brown game. Just my kind of game. Getting tons of different uh, types of weapons. And uh, basically having all different stats of these weapons. So it's just a fantastic game, guys. You can play the game six or seven times and get different guns all the time, you know. So, yeah, Borderlands 2 for me. Just a fantastic game. My kind of game. Oh, that's it then. We are down to the final two games. Now this next game, I'm really quite surprised about it, to be honest. If you had asked me uh, if this game was going to be my top 20, I would probably have said no. Because I do have a lot of good games uh, that I've played through. But it's actually, it's actually managed to sneak in there somehow. Because I've looked through all my games and I decided to put this game on it. So uh, I was going to mention it. It is Dead Rising 2. Which is so strange. 
Because my mind, playing this game, my mind changed like so much, so damn much. At first, kind of enjoyed the game, then I hated the game, then quite liked the game, hated it again. Actually, really liked the game, hated it a bit more, and then loved the game. So, as my mind was just going all over the place playing this game, I just feel like at the beginning of the game, when you like, don't know too much about it, it is really bloody frustrating. It's a hard game when you first play it. It is a really, really tough game. Some of the bosses are really tough. And the loading screens and that are really annoying. One of the thing that really did annoy me was the fact that you basically die at this boss if you get killed by this boss, basically. Uh, basically, you had to load your save game, and that was like 10 minutes away or something. You had to walk again to the boss, only to die again if you, did, if you couldn't basically kill him. And the loading screens trying to get to that bloody boss are bloody annoying. Just takes too long the loading screens guys uh, it would have been better if they had more save points but as the game went on I started to get used to the game and uh, basically didn't find it quite as difficult so yeah Dead Rising 2 guys I've got to put on the list because I've completed it three times got three different endings uh, so definitely got um, quite a bit of replayability uh, so yeah it's, uh, Dead Rising 2 and one of the things that's basically annoying as well uh, until you get used to it, is you've timed as well. You've timed to do these missions, and if you fail to do them in a certain amount of time, you'll basically fail that mission. Uh, so yeah, just put a bit of pressure on you. So yeah, Dead Rising 2. I've got to put it in my top 20 now. Just sneaked in there. Just sneaked into the top 20. Anyway, this is it. This is the grand finale. This is my favourite game on the PS3. Uh, if you've been watching my videos recently, you'll probably have a rough idea of what it is. Um, if not, I'll give you a moment to think, I'll give you some clues. It's a PS3 exclusive, uh, great characters, great storyline, just great gameplay, guys. It is a fantastic game, guys. And there's a uh, freedom, there's freedom, and I've only played two. I'm looking forward to getting the third one, though. Definitely get the third one at some point. And, um, yeah, are you ready for it? You probably know what it is. It's, not, it's a Naughty Dog game. It is Uncharted 2. Brilliant game, guys. Uh, if I was choosing, like, if I had no restrictions, basically, on games and series, I would probably put both Uncharted games in, but since I'm only picking one game in a series, I'm, I'm definitely choosing Uncharted 2, because it is my favourite game on the PS3. Just a fantastic game, guys. I love it to death. And, uh, yeah, like I say, characters and that are just brilliant. Just a masterpiece of a game, guys. There you go. There's, there's the proof. 10 out of 10. Absolutely brilliant. Can't disagree with that. Um, so yeah, just a fantastic game guys, brilliant stuff. So yeah guys, that is it. Um, I could talk about that game for ages, but I better not. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this top 20 guys. Um, it could be quite a while actually to choose my top 20, because I do have uh, quite a lot of games I've played through. Uh, one thing I could mention is uh, a game that would probably get into my top 20. Uh, would probably be Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. That is a fantastic game. But the only problem is I've not actually completed it. I've only put games in that I've completed. Uh, so, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 misses out. Only due to the fact there's a scratch on my disc and I cannot play past that point. It just freezes that cutscene. Uh, which is really bloody annoying. I, I really do need token to get another disc at some point for Metal Gear Solid 4. But, um, yeah, and it would probably make my top 20. Because it just feels fantastic. So, anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this top 20. Let me know... Uh, if you agree with any of these, if you disagree with any of them, or if, basically, if you think there's games I'm missing here, uh, which is probably is games I'm missing, there's a whole load of games I'm still, I've still to get, which are fantastic. Far Cry 3, uh, New Tomb Raider, uh, Bioshock Infinite looks fantastic. Uh, so yeah, there's a whole load of games that I want to get that are brilliant. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.